Back inside the Printech broadcast booth, the anthems are through, and we are just about set for puck drop. It's game number 50 of 58 regular season games and the seventh and final regular season meeting between the interior division rivals. The Vipers will travel right to left across your radio in the whites with the dark blue, yellow, and red. The V's in their home blacks with the royal blue and white trim going left to right. It'll be Merritt, Balaka, and Feist up front with Taylor and Felton on the blue line. Colton Kalizic, Tristan Amante, and Tyler Ho up front for the V's with Nico Somerville and Steve Holt on the blue line. Hutchison up the left wing side, turned it over. Sleeth in a good position, knocked it away. Now here comes Kowalski, right wing side. He's in, he drives wide, he got tripped up. Oof, no arm goes up there as Martini accidentally sideswiped him. Tried to slide to block it and ended up taking Kowalski out of the play. Here come the V's the other way. Sillinger right side, he shoots, he scores! Lucas Sillinger down the right wing, picks the top corner, so the Vipers have a look at one, and the V's transition the other way, and Sillinger goes high to the left side. And early in the first period, it's 1-0 Penticton. Here's Trey Taylor after it in his own zone. Bank pass up to the line. Hachisuka had it hop on him, V's hold the line. Here's a quick shot, they score! The V's able to cause a turnover at the blue line and a quick pass from left side to right side and it's Danny Waite beating Riley Herbs on the left side again and the V's lead two to nothing. Fuller will move it back up the right wing side. Pass will find Colby Feist left wing. His shot was blocked. Knocked down by Kalizic. He'll move it out to center for Tyler Ho. And Ho will stick handle in and shoot and he scores. And now they're going to get the goaltender change as the V's get a shot from the left wing side. 5-13, the time of the goal. And it's 3-0. Tyler Ho will get the goal. And things going from bad to worse for the Vipers early on as the shot beat Herbs to the glove side. Felton ties him up. Up the near side, it comes for Connor Sleeth. He'll cut off the cycle. And now from center, he'll stick handle. Left wing side, he's got a man across. Sleeth, pass across, but it wasn't a good one. It was turned away. Now the V's will go the other way, two on one. Ho, oh, left wing side, he stops up across the Kalzik to the goal. He scores. Nine twenty-one, the time of the goal, and the V's extend their lead. It's now four to nothing. A promising looking rush up the ice got turned around and quickly the V's transitioned and Tyler Ho set up Colton Kalizic who makes a nice move. Box rolling here, Fuller able to send it up ahead. Check from behind though by Sillinger. It'll get to the blue line, just held on the line as Cilia tried to make a move around a man. Nearly lost the puck but that puck just wanted to stay on his stick. Cilia trying to power through, poke checked. Puck to the left wing side, Hutchison working away from Sleeth. Connor Hutchison to the right wing. Leaves it for Cilia, top of the right wing circle. Makes a move to the middle, near board side. It's Martini, scores! <laughs> Ethan Martini on the near side, able to find a hole under the right arm of Keegan Karki, and the V's increase their lead. It's five to nothing. Sillinger taking it left wall, back towards the blue line. Came across the line, so he'll have to regroup as Cilia hustles to get back on side. Pass will come near side for Hutchison. Hutchison leaving for Sillinger, trying to carry through the zone. Down the right wing, trying to make a move. Donahoe took him off the puck, but Sillinger scores! Wow, Lucas Sillinger stayed right with it. Donahoe looked like he had good position, but Sillinger was able to get around him and picks the short side. And the V's increase their lead. It's six to nothing. That was a great play from Lucas Sillinger to get around a man. Time of the goal, 11:34. Sillinger's second of the night, 18th of the season, and it's six to nothing. Down the right wing, stopping up away from Caller. O'Brien tried to go between his legs; it was knocked down. O'Brien then steals. Here's the high point. Malmquist slap shot scores. Everything the bees are putting in the net is going in. Is Malmquist from the high point? It's that shot through. Now, did anybody touch it? It doesn't appear so. 
The Malmquist getting credit and it's 7-0 Penticton. Time of the goal, 12.54. Turnover in the neutral zone and quickly converted upon. Penticton able to get the puck loose. Fuller holds the line, puts one to the net. It was stopped by Peretz and sticks it into the corner. Here's Fudger. Kowalski left half wall. Crossing to the right side for Fuller. He'll put one back in the net. Whistles wide. Cash off the bench, left wing corner. Kowalski in tight, he sc scores! Matt Kowalski able to get on the board. He was able to get it just inside the goal post on a centering pass. And, well, it's not much to celebrate about, but it is something. It's Matt Kowalski getting the goal. It's 7-1. A, a puck battle, cash off the bench, a drop pass to Kowalski. And time of the goal will be 13:41. So the goal is coming quickly here. Cash will get the assist. Move it, five seconds remaining. The Vipers will get the red line and shoot it in. But the horn's gonna sound to end this hockey game as the Penticton V's defeat the Vipers here tonight by a score of seven to one. All the damage done in the first two periods and the Vipers uh, in a hole they couldn't get away from. They surround their goaltender now in a show of support, so the group still united. A tough loss here in Penticton, and the Vipers will go back to the drawing board as they prepare for Merritt on Tuesday night.